ginormous. What is up, YouTube? Again, so welcome to vlog seven. Seven. I'm doing a horrible job of keeping track of what the last one is. I said the last one was five, when realistically it was six. But I think this one is seven, it might be eight, I don't know. Anyways, so I said in the last one that I was gonna be going to Tokyo in the next video. I lied, we're gonna go to Tokyo tomorrow because I'll be getting off substantially earlier. So we'll have more time. So today we are headed to Yokohama. Um, should be there in about 30 minutes. And we're gonna go to the landmark tower in Yokohama, the Pokemon store, get some ramen, and I don't know, whatever else we decide to do. Uh, so I'll let you guys know when I get there. All right, almost the landmark tower. Look at how tall this shit is. Ginormous. All right, so now we are in landmark tower. This place is absolutely beautiful. Uh, we are going to be going up to the top and down into the mall in a little bit. Alrighty y'all, so I know you can't see me that good, but we are at the very top of the landmark tower on the 70th floor. Um, this is one of my favorite views in Japan, and this was one of my favorite places to come. There's actually a bar up here that we're about to go have a drink at, but I figured I would show you guys the view from up here. It's absolutely awesome. Now I'm gonna go have a drink at this super tasty bar. Alrighty, so our awesome bartender is making our drink right now. I'm trying to talk kind of quiet because I'm in a super fancy place, but just look around. Look around. It's so fancy. Um, so my drink that I'm getting is called the Planetarium. It is 2,257 yen, which is roughly 20 bucks. Um, so that's kind of nuts. However, it looks really pretty. I'm excited to show it to you guys. Oh, oh, this is pretty dope. Super cool. I like it. All right, so we're in the fastest elevator in the world. Oh, we gotta put the button. Hold on. Um, coffee shop, teppanyaki, hotel shop. Let's do it. Okay. Uh, All right. Basement. Do it. Basement. All right, we're in the basement. Watch how fast this elevator goes. Your ears literally pop as it's going. It's crazy. We're not going that fast yet, but my ears are already starting to pop. You guys get the idea. But yeah, super fast, my ears hurt. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna go do some other stuff. I will advise. So we're trying to go get some food, but Woodley wanted to stop at like an anime store. Um, <laughs> I don't know what anything is in here. So you guys can just look around and be as confused as I am as whatever this stuff is. Why is that hilarious? Because his head has this purple thing, so it goes here and his head is round, right? So like another photo right there. Oh, uh, okay. So it's just funny. Oh, so it like works. Yeah. So yeah, there's like all kinds of anime stuff. I definitely thought this kid was pooping. Evidently, he's fishing with his tail, which I could also see, but to me that looks like pooping. Do any of you guys watch anime? Do you know what any of this stuff is that I'm by? Like that, that right there? I don't know, do you know what that is? I don't, uh, but if you do, comment down below and let me know, educate me. So the next time I come to Japan, I don't feel dumb when I walk into places like this, because I literally have no idea what any of this is. So it's really cool, uh, one really cool thing about this mall and Landmark Tower, which again, right there, pretty sweet. Um, but so this is a dry dock. It's like the mall is built around a dry dock, which is where they bring ships when they need like repairs and stuff. So back in like old, I think World War II times, this was a dry dock where they fix ships. Pretty cool. But now we're almost at the food spot. Okay, so the Gyoza place was closed, unfortunately. Um, but the place that we went to is called 
I don't remember, like World of Beers or Beer Museum. Yeah. They have like probably 200 different beers and it's a beer museum on the other side. So the beers got here before the food, um, but they put the beers, so I got a German? German? No, no. I got a Belgian beer and he got a Belgian beer as well, um, but they have them in the glasses for that company from Belgium, Belgium which is cool, so. So that is mine. Mine is a Castile or Castel 11% alcohol. So that's gonna be pretty good. And then his is a oh, fuck. <laughs> Bruget Zot. 7.5%. So, Kompai went in Japan, drink Belgian beer. That's good, and it honestly does not taste like an 11% beer. I like it. All right, so me and Woodley have just been talking about random stuff, uh, waiting for our food to came out, and my steak just came out, and I forgot to take a picture of it and vlog it, so half the plate's messed up, but I have the good side towards me. So this is what I got. Part of the plate. But yeah, that's my meal. Some sirloin steak, some potatoes, and some leaves. Probably not gonna eat the leaves. Um, but yeah, it's absolutely delicious. My beer is almost gone, and I am definitely buzzed, I'm not gonna lie, but that's what an 11% beer will do to you. All right, so we're about to head back to the mall, but I just figured I would share with you, I ate all of my food. That never happens. I never eat like a whole plate. I can't eat that much. Woodley ate all of his food too. We have no idea what it was, but it was like pork and some sauce, and I know I know what it is, but I can't remember. Porridge? Porridge? Porridge is like oatmeal. Not porridge. Yeah, we're, I will update you guys at the Pokemon store. Alrighty, so we are walking into the Pokemon store right now. Again, I do not care about the Pokemon store, but Woodley is super excited about it because he is, again, a person that loves anime, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, all that good stuff. So, Woodley, are you excited to go to the Pokemon store? Yeah. I think it's like the biggest one in the world, maybe, or like the biggest one on like this continent. I don't know. Whatever. Let's go check it out. So again, I'm not a Pokemon guy, and um, Woodley keeps correcting me because I'm getting all the Pokemon wrong. I will say I've gotten a good amount right. Right, I played Pokemon Go for a little bit. It was pretty fun, um, but I'm definitely not gonna buy anything because that's the line. Alrighty, so we were gonna go get ramen at a popular ramen place here in Yokohama, but my buddy Brian and his wife Meg want to meet us for dinner at some spot that I, I don't know anything about, at Kanazawa Bunko Station, which is like 20 minutes from here. Um, so we're gonna leave here in about an hour, go there, have dinner, I'll try to vlog a little bit there. He said the food is there, it's amazing, and the last place that he brought me to was absolutely insane. Um, but for now, we are getting Starbucks. So this is a Japanese train with some like super nice lighting, honestly. Super busy, I think we got four stops till our stop. Alright, so we made it to dinner. Um, I don't know what this place is called, but it's like an easy, what is it? Mido. Um, so you get, like you order one little skewer of food at a time. And it's absolutely delicious. Um, I've loved everything. The only thing that was a little weird was a bacon wrapped tomato. And I don't like tomatoes, so I obviously didn't eat that. But I ate the bacon off of it and it was phenomenal. So this is like a little cheese pinwheel wrapped in pork or like bacon kind of. Um, so everything is delicious. I'm gonna try to set up a time lapse somewhere so you can see all the ones. But I'll try to just include like at least a little, a little couple second video each one that we get. So this is called the stamina. It's garlic and minced chicken. Mostly garlic. Mostly garlic. <laughs> so this is chicken, and uh, this chicken uh, is perfectly grilled. It's ridiculously juicy and amazing, and it's topped with uh, with cheese and anchovies. It's like little spring roll kind of things that are cut and then grilled. And I don't actually know everything that's inside, but it's delicious. All right, little spring roll things. Sweet deal. The sugar. This is a bacon wrapped asparagus. All right, All right, Meg. I need you to say one word for me. Just say no. 
<laughs> you tried to do it that time. Oh, thank you. So I forgot to take a picture uh, when this was on the skewer, but this is Beijing duck. And duck is one of my favorite meats ever. Alrighty, y'all. We are done eating. I don't even know how many rounds of different meats we had. Probably, I'd say at least 10. Roughly 10 different kinds of things. Definitely more than that. All right, definitely more than 10, and they were all delicious. My favorite was a Beijing duck that tasted like Fruit Loops. Um, everyone called me crazy because they said it didn't taste like Fruit Loops, but no one else had it but me. Nobody so they, called you crazy. You called yourself crazy. Right? He, he definitely said you are crazy. You called yourself called crazy. Yourself and crazy. He said you're gonna call me crazy, but I never said crazy. And nobody else actually said crazy. Accurate. So this man needs to be more accurate in his stories. Listen, all right, duck tasting like Fruit Loops is not normal, which would make it crazy, but it was tasty. Anyways, we are all, I don't know, like this, oh, Woodley's gone, it's right there. Uh, we're all about to go back to Yakuska and go to Brian's Bar, Bar 76, and have a couple drinks. So the next time you see us, we will be there. All right, y'all, so we made it to my buddy Brian's Bar in Yakuska. We're gonna finish up the night here, have some drinks. I think it's almost 10 o'clock at night or like 9.30. Uh, but again, I have to be up early for class in the morning to teach. So, we're going to have some drinks, just enjoy the night. I'm going to end the vlog here. I appreciate y'all for watching. I hope you liked going through Yokohama and parts of Yakuska. So again, thank you for watching. Please like this video, comment on this video. Let me know if you want to ever go to Japan or if you've been to Japan and where you've been. Subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you see my future posts for my next videos. I'll probably have two or three more Jap Japan videos coming out after this one. So again, thank you guys, I love you. Have a good day.